Hello Collective! Welcome to Sexy Sunday Fun Day. Alright, it's that time already. Time's flying by, guys. Holiday season is upon us. So let's see. We're gonna see who, what's new out there, Collective. Who could be watching you? What do they think about you? How do they view you at this time? So we're gonna see, um, you know, what's coming up for you guys this Sunday. And let's see what they fantasize about. What do they want to tell you? Like, you know. So let's get into it, guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all your wonderful, beautiful comments and all of your donations. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, please hit that like button is all I ask. Subscribe if you haven't. And you know the drill. If you want to know when my readings come out, hit that notification bell, guys. Let's see what's up. All right, so what's new out there, Spirit, for the Collective? Who's watching the Collective, and why, and what are they fantasizing about? What do they want to know? Okay, what are they thinking? What crosses their mind here? One more shuffle. What are they seeing when it comes to the Collective? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Well, this could be a Taurus for some of you. It doesn't have to be. You could be a Taurus, or there's aspects of Taurus energy um, surrounding you or this person. Number 35. Somebody could be 35 here, um, or in their 30s, or something like that. Um, but there is change happening with that number five here and three being the catalytic number, right? Um, so somebody is like attracted to you, but it's almost like a love hate. <laughs> I, I don't know why. <laughs> or they're dealing or they're in a connection where it's a love hate situation, but they're looking at you. Okay, so take this how it resonates. This is a little trick. Hey, okay. But five is all about change. So somebody could be going through the changes and being really triggered at this time by certain people around them, maybe by you as well, maybe by things you say or post. You could know who this is if they're crushing on you or if it's somebody that you've dealt with. We're going to see. Um, but this is adding up to eight. So I feel like this is a manifestation, someone you have an infinite eternal flame connection to type of energy whether it's high level soulmate or um, twin flame this is this feels like you know you guys have been down this road before many lifetimes so uh, this person could be an artist okay whether they paint they're very visual they love beautiful things they could have a, a beauty for luxury an eye for luxury there could be someone that is surrounded by great material things and maybe used to superficial connections here okay maybe somebody here wonders if you two would get along or if it would be like they love things about you but there's things about you that they don't really care for maybe it's because they don't really know you that well this person is giving me a little bit snooty energy okay they're, they're used to a specific like specific types of people that wear a mask and they're kind of superficial and I'm not saying that this person is like that at the core but they've learned to adapt to their environment is what I'm getting and with that comes you know they're in the energy of being you know the catalyst right I'm not the catalyst excuse me well yeah the catalyst right so whatever they perceive and think about themselves and other people is what they're attracting but I see five as there is change going on here. So you could be changing this person's perspective on love and connections with people because you're very different. So I feel like they see you as someone that is very different, but they got some sort of person here that's, uh, they might be beautiful, but they are cuckoo. Okay, that person's holding a knife. And it's like, nobody can have you if I can't have you alright so this is pretty interesting okay 
Alrighty then, bottom of the deck, like a flower in spring, Taurus energy again. Yeah, this person's going through changes, they're blossoming, male or female. Okay, so I feel like you help this person grow. Like, you are very different than the people that they're used to being around or the people that they're used to dating, the types of people. It has to do with the environment they are in or grew up in. I feel like this person has always been pressured to, you know, be the best at everything they do. So they could be in the energy of always trying to please others and um, proving themselves that they are good enough. This is probably something that stems from childhood. And with you, it's almost like running across you has opened them up to change and to look at themselves a little bit deeper. When you know your self-worth, you don't have to prove yourself to anyone. And you don't people please. Okay? And, you know, you really show others... Your energy really shows other people how to treat you. This person could be... Um, somebody that a lot of people take advantage of because this person is constantly trying to prove that they are good enough, which tells me there are some, there's some level of insecurity going on deep down. So material gain is more like a compensation for the lack that's happening within this person. But there is growth taking place here. And I feel, I really do feel like you have a big role in this. Because you have changed their perception on people and love. It, that it's not always, people aren't just the type of people that they have surrounded themselves with or have been with in the past or lately, okay? You're different. So you challenge this person. So, yeah, you could trigger them at times because it doesn't fit with what the, the reality they are used to, but you live in a completely different reality which tells me that you could have done a lot of self-growth self-worth and you're in the energy of attraction and you're in a higher vibration you don't see the world in through superficial eyes you are more true to your who you are and what I mean by you show others how to treat you it means that collective you have strong boundaries so people don't pour all their burdens on you because you know how to set those boundaries. So people have learned how to treat you and actually that demands even more respect. When somebody is people pleasing, people walk all over them and um, they don't respect that person's boundaries because they know that they're always going to carry the burdens. And that's something this person might be learning from you. Okay, because they see you in a very confident light and you're mirroring back to this person almost like the best version of themselves that they had to get in touch with. That's really what I'm picking up here. Very strong. Okay. So a lot of change here. Like a flower in spring. I'm also getting like spring love. Like, you know, there's a different um, vibe in the air during spring. Like the winter is gone. Summertime is approaching. The weather is good. The birds are chirping. The energy is just crisp, different. You know, it's like settling into that new year vibe and you know being more free being more active being more flirtatious more charismatic so i feel like i don't know you're opening this person up to a new a new vibe okay that's what i'm getting so let's see what else all right deep 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 Yeah, I'm getting, I don't know if you've ever seen the Truman Show with Jim Carrey. I'm sure after his awakening, when he looked back at that movie, he was pretty mind blown at the signs and synchronicities where spirit was trying to guide him. Um, you know, he grew up thinking, okay, I get up, I do this, this, you know, I do everything in routine. And it was all fake at the end of the day. I go to work, I say hi to the neighbors, and they were all in on it. <laughs> It was all fake. And I feel like this person has been living a fake life, living a lie. And they never really questioned it till they maybe came across your path. Okay? 
it's like, well, wait a minute. This isn't really a reality. This is the reality that's been made around me because of maybe it's a specific career or a specific, um, you know, and sometimes that can take your life in very different directions. But they're very creative from what I can see here. You know, they, they went after their, you know, what God, their God-given gifts. But they had to learn how to work from within as well not just from what that specific talent brings them you know not just what the material gain that is manifested because of their talent it also manifests itself if you are not in your power in very toxic ways uh, surrounded by you know fakeness okay that's really what I'm getting here all right one more shuffle Hmm, so let's see how that fits in with the collective here. Dreams. You guys could be having dreams about each other. This person could dream about you. There's a turtle here. So this person is... They take their time. When they do something, they spend a lot of time there in order to learn something. Okay? But at the end of the day, slow and steady wins the race, right? But there are dreams here. Number seven. Okay, this is all about um, spirituality and spirit being with you. So spirit could be divinely guiding both of you through the dream state. Trying to make you guys see that there's something deeper here that is connecting the two of you. Um, you could have came into this person's life for their spiritual growth. Okay, after you went through a lot of spiritual growth as well. But this definitely could be, um, well, not could be, what I'm getting is, is there your, somehow you have some sort of spiritual connection. This is someone you've known before in another life. And it's all about unveiling the truth here. Okay, there's, there's an underlying truth that connects the two of you. And I feel like you two are, tar are starting to experience what that is, okay? Or you have been for some time, so take it how it resonates. Yeah, nostalgia. Again, another 8, 26, adding up to 8. Um, 6 is a very difficult but very spiritual journey that you both could have been on, okay? 2 meaning duality and balance, finding that duality that moderation between your light and shadow right um both people needing to be in balance here so there's an aspect of of course light and dark in everyone but someone could have been more in their shadow here and it's almost like you came to kind of balance the scales but you had to go through your own balancing of the scales as well so it's a beautiful connection that teaches you a lot about soul growth is what I'm getting here, okay? Somebody could be nostalgic um, or daydreaming here about what it would be like to connect with you, to be in your presence, okay? If some of you met a long time ago, um, but you have not you know been in touch with this person you know both of you could be thinking back at a time where where you spent together okay yeah so I'm also seeing that this person is leaving whoever this psycho is where it's the hate nurtured with love this person is very nurturing and I feel like they tried to fix someone that it you know, people grow at their own space and time. We cannot help people grow um, unless it really comes naturally within them to do so. And sometimes it's all about timing and that person needing to go through their own experiences in order to grow. And that cannot be, you know, pushed prematurely. So I feel like this person, you know, is used to people pleasing, nurturing, trying to nurture others, but they're coming from a space where their cup is empty so therefore how could you possibly try and help someone 
this person needed to learn how to help themselves first and foremost um because at the bottom here we're somebody's leaving someone here okay we have virgo energy here uh, number 19 closing of a cycle is number nine and new beginnings taking place and 10 is you know completed completing a cycle basically okay so i'm seeing this so somebody could be nostalgic about how they first met you know what they liked about the person when they first met them and what they look for in another person but what they certainly don't want to go through ever again because i'm feeling like they you know they had it pretty rough in that connection okay and they're dreaming about you and if this is somebody that has taken a long time to grow and realize the difference between the connection they feel with you and the connection they had with someone here um there's definitely um the light the veil is lifting here okay All right, so let's get into some tarot. Let's see what else here. Yeah, I'm hearing your real life fantasy. Okay, so they see you as a, like it's been like a fantasy, like it's almost like fantasy made reality is how they view you. It's almost like they always wanted someone like you, but they didn't really understand what that would entail, which tells me this person could be spiritual but they're they're used to adapting to their environment so they are someone entirely different deep down inside but they have been focused so much on pleasing others and focused so much on material gains that they kind of lost themselves somewhere along their journey and now they're getting back to self uh, which is also going to boost their their level of confidence um they could have you know burnout i'm hearing you know they could have went through a burnout loss of you know inspiration um and i feel it had to do with this recent um situation shift that they were in um but it it's teaching them something as well at the end of the day You know, sometimes we got to be careful what we ask for, right? Because we have to align to it. I feel like they always wanted to meet someone like you, but you have to align to that vibration, that energy. So you did, you are a wish fulfillment is what I'm getting here, a manifestation. But they had to go through the changes and align to it. And God made sure that this person sees it through. So it's almost like going through God to get to you. Um... And it's possibly because you could have a purpose with this person or there's something that you're meant, you know, you're meant to come together to live out this beautiful connection and, you know, inspire other people as well. That, hey, you know, if you really work on yourself, you can attract a lot better and you can understand why you attract the people you did for so long when there's, you know, when there's no inner work, right? You're just kind of going through the motions. All right, let's let's actually shuffle these. Let's see. All right, dreams. Six of Swords. See, this is how they want to come see you. They want to be like this. This person wants to feel you. They want to kiss you. They want to be in your presence. They want to come, you know travel they could they could dream about this often as well yeah eight of cups okay walking away from a, a love hate kind of connection here okay they were not emotionally fulfilled there it was superficial in nature all right they could also see you as someone that you know you that you birth new things you walk away if you're not being fulfilled you know how to you know take the lesson and go with it and um move forward all right let's see what else i feel like they could see you as an empress as well nine of swords yeah this person doesn't sleep much they think to the past a lot because they're this is under nostalgia they could suffer from anxiety as well because they've been in an environment all their life where it's like 
go, 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 material, you know, I'm getting that this person is very empathic, but they absorb the energies of other people. So because they're in a constant go-getter mode, they're constantly surrounded by material gain, you know, superficiality, um, you know, whatever it is. I feel like whatever they do for business is very busy, 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 busy. So they're constantly in an anxious mode because their brain is constantly going, like, what's the next career move and, you know, then they're around energy all the time. So this, I feel like this person needs to take some, they might take breaks every now and then to get right with themselves, but they need to purify their energy as well. Okay. Also, if they were, were with someone that, you know, I don't know, I, I can see that the person had maybe some mental issues. Um, I don't know what their... <sighs> This could also affect this anxiety depending on what kind of energy that person's in, which is not giving me a very good one, and whatever is attached to that energy. Okay, this person would suck up like a sponge because they are an empath is what I'm getting. So this person needs to just really purify their energy and take a break from groups, big groups of people. Okay, and you could be the kind of person that you hardly ever surround yourself with big groups of people because you understand your energy and you might take a lot of breaks and be more about spiritual growth and, and self-healing and purification. So you're, you are definitely this person, in order for them to come to you, they might know that they have to really... And, and it's not for you per se, but for themselves. If they're going through that blossoming stage, that those changes, they know that they need to heal and cleanse their environment and their energy. And that includes, you know, cutting people off. They might have a hard time doing that because they take on a lot is what I'm feeling here. But not everybody is good to be around because it really does affect your growth. It affects your environment. It affects your energy. And I feel like you have mastered that, but this person is maybe feeling bad trying to cut people off. But, yeah, you know, just try to distance yourself more and more each day. That's, you know, till they get it that you're setting boundaries, you know. Um, let's see, Six of Swords. They could lay at night thinking about you as well. A lot. Ooh we the wheel of fortune. Definitely destiny here. You guys were destined to learn something here and come together. This person might be a big fan of the 69. Okay. They could have cancer in their chart, but also this could be Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, or a Sag here. The Wheel of Fortune. It's Jupiter energy as well to me and his husband. Okay, husband energy. Eight of Cups. This could also be someone that has children, maybe, perhaps. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, this person is a bit of a rebel also. They could get in their own way often. They definitely commute quite a bit for, for business, is what I'm seeing here. So they're, they're used to being in and out doing things like, you know, go get her, you know. Um, so for some of you, they work so much that they really never really had time for like a serious, serious connection. And maybe they thought they could have one with somebody here and it's just not, it, I don't know, it just didn't work how they maybe planned it in their head is what I'm seeing this I see this person would love to come to you but they know that they can't like just stay with you because of their lifestyle this person is busy and that I can I can see but you know they need to just kind of I don't feel see I feel like you're a free spirit also but you like you have 
no form of attachment to anyone because you're growing and doing your own thing. You're used to being more of a loner is what I'm getting here. And I don't know. I feel like sometimes maybe this person assumes too much. But as far as running to you, they would love to do this. They would love to come to you, flirt with you. Um, you know, definitely they think about the sex part. Absolutely. But they know you have a lot of self-respect. It's not like they're just going to come in and out of your life in a sexual manner, even though I'm sure they, they would love to. But they know there's something deeper here. Um, let's see. Nostalgia with the Nine of Swords. The Tower. the tower yeah this person could have children they could be thinking about past events they could have been married before in the past and they're thinking about maybe perhaps how that fell apart hopefully they're not comparing you know apples to oranges here because you know everybody's different every situation is different and the level of understanding at that specific time and place is different but they are thinking about back about something so maybe this person was married, didn't work out too well before, and now they're just kind of in and out of people's lives. And with you, they see see you as an empress is what I feel here. So they see you as somebody that they would marry. But it's almost like, does it fit into my lifestyle? Would they Would they understand my lifestyle? But they also have to give themselves a chance to go through a, a, a change because they're going through a change in perspective, a transformation. You know, where there's a will, there's always a way. If it's something that is truly felt between the two of you. Right? But yeah, I feel like they're they're thinking back at something. You could remind them of an experience in the past like the good part of the experience but then they start to think about when it went downhill and wonder if that's going to happen again again i feel like they're comparing apples to oranges i definitely see this person self pleasures a lot they could have a, a big sexual appetite as well And I keep hearing racing against time. They feel like they're always racing against time. Like time is not on their side. Because they're busy, 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 busy. And I see the burnout. Yeah, I can't make this up. You were right there at the bottom of the deck. The Empress. They see you as the Empress. There it is. looking damn gorgeous so you are in the energy of attraction yeah they see you as it look at that the lovers with the star and the empress yeah definitely it's like wish fulfillment you are wish fulfillment okay wow definitely They see you have like, maybe like star quality. You could be a star seed, a light worker, absolutely. Um, but, wow. You, you, you um, give this person like hope or you make them believe in faith again. I mean, look at this. The star with the empress and the lovers. That is a divine connection. Okay. They could have thought they met somebody that was like this at first because they could have came in strong. They could have matched that energy real good, you know, because they were surrounded by materialism. I feel like something came in like a shiny thing. But you you were like a pleasant surprise. It's almost like hiding in plain sight. 
you were hiding in plain sight. But they didn't see your worth before or something like that. Or maybe they just saw it, but they just didn't value it at first. Or they were just too busy in their limited perception at the time. I feel like this has been a long time coming, guys. Yeah, Two of Cups. Come on, the Lovers, Two of Cups with the Star and the Empress. That's definitely Divine Counterpart here. Okay. Wow. We have the energy of Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Cancer, Seven of Cups. Yeah, I feel justice. Wow. Ooh. Okay. So I feel for some of you, okay, you have a major choice here. There's there's someone else looking at you as well. Okay, so you have the lovers, the star. That's the connection you guys have. So this is somebody that would have to be in that emperor status to be with you. Like I said, they have to go through God, go through healing to come together with you. Okay? And you have a high-level soulmate here. Seven of Cups, Two of Cups, that is secretly admiring you as well and dreaming of you. Seven of Cups with the Two of Cups and the Moon. Okay, somebody's fantasizing and dreaming of you as well. And we have justice behind this with the High Priestess and the Queen of Pentacles. Darling. You know what this is telling me? That you are in your High Priestess, Empress energy. You have healed. You have become the star in your own right. And you are behind this veil of justice, meaning you had the rite of passage to the promised land. Okay, if any of you are into Egyptian, um, you know, studies, that is exactly what is depicted. Okay, meaning your heart is as light as a feather and you're living in your truth. You have access also to divine knowledge and wisdom. Okay, you're, you are somebody that somebody must come with in that same energy of heart being as light as a feather because you've already made it through here and you are the queen of pentacles as well independent you will always be living a comfortable life you have self-worth self-love you're very self-nurturing okay some of you could be a spiritual teacher or you work from your spirituality spiritual gifts or what you do just anything you set your mind to because you're high vibration high high vibing um you supersede you you excel in okay because you have like you're tapped into source okay you're definitely wife material that's for sure but you are this person's spiritual wife also is what i'm getting but they have to go through the change so that they can also enjoy this with you. Wow. Talk about big difference between the two of you. How opposites attract here. You've had a lot of soul growth. And you know your worth from within. And it shines through now. But they were the opposite in that they thought what would show good would be the material gain the tangible aspect of worth and they thought they measured worth by the amount of money or material gains that you had when they did no inner work and inner inner growth so that's the kind of person they attracted was a materialistic person maybe somebody that's even there for their money but meeting you is starting to change this person internally because you are deeply connected Definitely you guys could go back to Egyptian times because this is reminding me of like the Egyptian Bible and the studies that they did back then. Okay. And they were very tapped into source. They were connected to something much bigger. And their teachings, you know, like 
Toth was it? Um, I feel like they were connected to Orion's belt and connected to alien, you know, otherworldly beings, uh, you know, that came to help them with these divine teachings. You're tapped into that most definitely. Okay. Maybe, you, you know, you're, you're learning a lot from that right now. Okay. They could see you as someone quite mysterious. Uh, maybe somewhat even shy, but your knowledge is deep, and you may only express um, a little bit of it, but your worth shows from within out. Their worth was like everything checked the boxes on the outside, but really deep down inside, they had to, they, they're going through their self-worth right now. This is so interesting. So what I'm seeing here is that you have a soulmate looking at you, dreaming of you, secret crush. Um, so it's almost like, okay, who's going to do the work first here? Or who's actually going to do the work? So I feel like this is like twin flame versus high level soulmate. We have the nine of wands here, right? The wounded warrior card. The Five of Cups, yeah, somebody has regrets because they really went through it. Eight of Swords with the Devil. Yeah, I told you, somebody, yeah, when they saw the lovers here, with the Devil here, it was the shiny thing. You see how this tree is barren? Okay, they could have gotten somebody pregnant for some of you, or, you know, it's a baby mama. doesn't have to be. And with you, it's like everything is fruitful. Okay. But the devil tried to mirror this energy, which would come up as a copycat. And uh, they were fooled. So now they're full of regrets because they went through it. Nine of Wands, just one wand, you know, away from the Ten of Wands. With the Five of Cups, this person's going through oppression, depression, anxiety, fear. Okay? Also, when you're not true to yourself, you, you're going to live in fear. You're going to live oppressed. You're going to be depressed because your soul is saying, I'm trapped here and I can't get out and I need you to grow here so that we could free ourselves. And I feel like you are the biggest mirror in this person's life that they need to set their soul free so that they can elevate that vibration and frequency and energy and evolve so this person has been suppressing themselves because they've been looking at things from a limited perspective. Not anymore, though. Okay? They were bound to the devil. And that's exactly what that's going to feel like. Imagine being bound to the devil in the devil's den. You're going to be chained up in fear, replaying events in your mind that are full of regret and depression. And you're going to feel wounded, of course, over and over again. Horrible energy. But this is what they could have in this new beginning. The Fool with the Ten of Cups. They could feel like they missed this opportunity or they're still hanging on to the possibility of it. Okay, with the Four of Pentacles. They're working on themselves, I feel, to achieve this wish fulfillment, Nine of Cups. Now, for some of you, though, yeah, ye. oh, wow. Okay. All right. So, for some of you, this there is a soulmate doing work. Because they see this with you. Okay, so your life could take a whole new direction here. Um, they're holding on to the possibility of this. Absolutely. Somebody's working on something, on working on this wish fulfillment. We have a King of Swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And then we have a King of Cups, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, with the Ace of Swords. So, either this King of Swords wants to tell you how they feel, because they've been working on this on themselves and working on, you know, the courage on telling you how they feel. Page of Cups. 
Somebody might owe you an apology here, or they want to tell you that they've been crushing on you. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, I saw the Six of Pentacles, and right away I, I heard, Kiss the ground that you walk on, baby. If I could just hold you again. So somebody here missed an opportunity with you and they want to tell you how they feel because they never did in the past. They're working up the courage to tell you that. So you have a past person here as well. Yeah, there could be at least three people though. Trying to tell you that they're crushing on you. Damn. But yep, exactly. Exactly. These people have to go through judgment. Damn, spirit's like, you better kiss them feet. Bow down before the one you serve. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But you see? It's because you've already went through your judgment and you passed with flying colors. If these people want to invest in you, they have to go through their own judgment, their own kar karma clearing. And their own spiritual growth. You're held in very high honor by spirit. Because, darling, you have really done the work. This ain't no joke, man. I can see clear as day what's happening in the 5D. In, in the spiritual realm. With your soul. And I know that you're doing a lot of work. Therefore, anyone that wants to be with you will have to do the same. That's just how it is. Exactly. You want to manifest this connection. Magician. You can manifest your clear intentions also a very powerful manifester. Okay, you are favored by the most high most definitely, but they have to go through the change. Which takes time with the Knight of Pentacles. And transformation, the death card. Yeah, <laughs> Ten of Pentacles, darling. Look at this. Tell me you're not highly favored. You are the jackpot. That's no joke. Six of Cups. Some of you have a past life um, inheritance or, or you're tied to some sort of um, abundance, your, your, your birthright, especially if you resonate with the Egyptian thing. Okay, I get that a lot here. You have a past life royalty payout. Okay? And you have a lot of past life soulmates here with the five of wands. There's at least three. But they have to do the work. So it's almost like they're on standby. Yeah, they see you as the sun. The sun. Look at all these people. This ain't drama. This is, well, this is drama, you know... If they all knew about each other, yeah, it'd probably be like, ah, but no, <laughs> these are past life soulmates that have to go through this awakening. They're attracted to this energy that you're in, the sun. Yep, you're going to have people wanting to court you, Knight of Cups. There it is, Ace of Cups. Everybody wants, you know, that uh, the Holy Grail, you're like the Holy Grail up in here the hell yeah this how you're gonna be like okay i'm gonna put on a blindfold and, and your energy is gonna tell me everything i need to know before i make this decision okay most definitely you're gonna have spirit guiding you they're all around you with these butterflies i'm telling you everybody wants that holy grail yeah you're gonna get some insight you're gonna get downloads on who is right for you right after the two of swords like this is crazy yeah cycle you know where the dragon or the snake eats its tail that speaks of infinity okay eternity so wow look at this man page of wands with the ace of wands these people are so attracted with the world You're also very creative. So much passion these people have. It's almost like they want to spend... I don't know, man. This is so crazy. 
the world. Yeah. Yeah, you're going to go through a period within. You're so protected, too. Oh, wow. Let me continue because I can go on forever with this energy. Jeez. This is nuts. Wow, you guys, collective, whoever this resonates with, definitely somebody that has done a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of self-work. Most definitely. Undubitably. <laughs> no doubt about it. Wow. So, you have at least three soulmates here. I feel this. You had a lower vibrational soulmate that you met in the past that could have been the catalyst to help you raise your vibration and put you on your journey which you have superseded okay you know, of course there's always more and more to learn yes but darling the space and time where you're in right now is pretty damn good and it's not the easiest route <laughs> and it's it, you know to see you in that light is amazing and then you have a twin flame I feel that could have taken a long 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 time with that turtle there to be able to go through this change and they could have gone through a lot a lot of inner conflict because I feel like you are very opposite just as twin flames usually are when it comes to you know the three dimensional aspect of life that's where all the limiting beliefs and the conditioning would pull you guys apart because that has to be overcome as well as the ego um, could have been very strong with this one because of the material aspect that I feel that this person has been surrounded by so no wonder that is taking a long time but also I see a high-level soulmate looking at you somebody that is doing the work and wants to tell you how they feel okay they see you as someone that speaks your truth, stands in your truth, and they want to be honest with you. And so I feel like, obviously, the past person, that was a lesson that's done. That could have been a karmic soul tie. But now you're going to be faced with a choice. Um, I feel you're going to know what to do, though. Okay, just hone into your intuition. This is uh, very interesting. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Collective, my goodness, this is a long ass reading, but hey, it's well worth it. Those who want to watch it will watch it. Oh, oh yeah, this person wants. Hey, no. <laughs> Nine of Cups. They want to know how good you are at fellatio. Okay, they do. They want 69, but they also want they want you to go downtown. They could dream about this. Oh, they could have dreamt that you went downtown. Okay. What else here? Yeah, three of cups. Yeah, this person could be into threesomes or they had an open relationship. I see somebody under the covers here. And I see entertaining somebody else here. So this person's used to, you know, the lavish lifestyle and, you know, having having whatever they want, although they're going through depression deep down inside because it's just not fulfilling. It's fake. Huh. Also, this person could have been with this other person for others of you and thinking about you sexually. Okay. Let's see. This person could be playing the field at this time as well. Like I said earlier, it, it, it's giving me somebody with a strong sexual appetite. Let's talk about this nostalgia. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like they think about a past connection that they were in that maybe they jumped into too quickly. So this could scare them. Yeah, and it left to heartbreak, three of swords. So something significant happened in an old connection there. They're afraid to get their heart broken. Okay, it could have been with a queen of cups, but I see the queen of cups here. 
um, it's almost like it ended as quick as it began kind of energy something was ended abruptly but when they got together with that person it started off pretty quick it was like crash and burn kind of energy so that they are thinking back about that but for others of you man yeah king of wands boy they fantasize a lot again you're a fantasy made reality it's almost like you're a good girl bad girl they see how nurturing you are high priestess again how intuitively you are you could be very compassionate very loving a high priestess um, with the what is this the five of cups yeah they're just full of regrets and also if they're thinking about the past it's almost like they regret the way they went about that connection but they they're all in their head okay about past present and future yeah I feel like they see like a naughty side of you you also they they see you as someone that you show just enough you don't show everything at once you keep them guessing that really turns them on but you see how they're wearing a mask here and they're looking at you here this is the judgment card and the empress there you go and we have the king of pentacles okay so they're the king of pentacles yeah they fantasize about this a lot and they just so full of regret you can see it so they fantasize about you and them giving you some type of offer here um but again they have to go through that change the magician yeah they know you are a manifestation it's like they want to touch you, feel you, be around you. But all okay, they can do right now is think about it. They just look so full of regret. They look like they, they're suffering in silence. They could have misjudged you here. Because I feel like they're in this, like... This is giving me, like, you know, they're in this they're the owner of their domain and you were like the person that caters or like works there they could have misjudged you like maybe the social class was different but darling <laughs> that's that see that's when people look at it in the 3d sense your worth is beyond this earth it supersedes materialistic things we saw that clear as day in the cards but they were looking with their, you know, their two eyes instead of their third eye. They misjudged you and because of the way they were seeing worth. It's not what you have. It's not what you own. It's what you embody within. And that is the Empress. And we see it here again. So... Wow. So spirit is really putting these men to the test because they know you deserve the best because you went through so much to raise your vibration and to be in the best vibration. This person could really love your breast also. Yeah, two of swords. They definitely, yeah, they want to come see you for sure. They want to feel you. They want to know what it's like to be around you. Hey, Queen of Pentacles, look at where that gold is. It's golden. It's golden. I see sex in the car, too. They would love to experience that. Oh, <laughs> they don't know what they're missing right there. <laughs> Talk about where the real worth is. <laughs> Damn. 
All right. No fool. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, they're thinking about this um, hardcore. And they do fantasize about you going downtown. Three of Cups. Eight of Cups. See, every chance they get, they're looking at you, they're touching you, they want to be around it. It's like they can't even help themselves. And they know they need to walk away from someone. Or they have. That's eight of cups twice. They could have. They are growing. Yep, the world. Something is over. Yeah, well, look at that. See what they ran up against? You see? That's this person right here. Okay. A, <laughs> a nightmare dressed like a daydream. See this karmic looking at herself in the mirror? Is she really the devil? That's clear right there. That's what I'm saying. They fell for a shiny thing. The devil really tricked this person. But that's what they do. Yeah, they're all in their head. They could have been on their psychic attack as well. And they know they gotta they gotta cut some people off. They gotta cut this devil off. The devil wears Prada. Oh she does. Devil in a dress. Yeah, this person really wants to please you, okay? <laughs> I can't show you that one too hard, but they want to plant seeds in you. Yeah. Hmm. Jeez, Ten of Cups. Yeah, this person is fully loaded, locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. Hmm. This is very interesting. All right, let's see what else we got here. So, you, you know, your twin is taking over here very prominently. Um, but you do have a high level soul date and a past soul tie as well, is what I'm seeing. One more shuffle spirit. Magically intertwined with the Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit with the Nine of Cups. They just can't, they can't deny what they feel. Yeah. Do you even realize how sexy you are? That's why they can't, they can't stop watching you. They can't stop looking at you. They want to touch you. They want to feel you. They want to be in your presence. They fantasize about this. I'm loving that physique. Yeah, they love your breast. Big or small, they love it. So yeah, they went through some... They're, yeah, they're closing out a chapter here. They could be also nostalgic about when they actually saw you. You could have blew their mind over here. Passion unleashed. Yeah, this person doesn't want to make war. They want to make love. Okay. This is a loving person. They, you know, they don't want to be at odds with anyone. They could love makeup sex as well. 
Yeah, rub a dub dub. Can I join you? Some of you could self pleasure to this person, or they know you do, and they want to join you, or I, I, or they could be doing this in the shower. Let's get tipsy tonight. Yeah, I feel they do want to take you out, most definitely. And for some of you, take it how it resonates. Like I said, somewhere in the past, you guys could have went out. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, romantic getaway. Only the best for you, love. See, there. this is what they're used to. They're used to splurging on their, you know, their prospects, their connections that they have with people, you know, that's what they're used to. So this person would spoil you because that's just the nature of what they're used to. All right. On the kitchen table, the only thing I'm hungry for is you. So they just want to devour you, collective. They want your scent all over them so they can savor the moment. All right. I feel this person does a lot of traveling as well for business. Yeah, you're magnetic. Your vibe just hits different. And we saw how different your vibe is. It's high vibe. And it looks like it's a cruel and unusual punishment kind of day. Okay, like I say, it could be a lady in the sheets. I mean, in the streets, freak in the sheets. Or it's just a cruel and unusual punishment because, you know, they can't be with you at this time. They can be with you whenever they want. It's just a matter of, you know, going through the change and making that choice work and play let's collaborate in more ways than one they could want to work with you yeah god broke the mold when he made you i just can't help myself so they can't help themselves collective they love to see you soaking wet they could be watching you online or they've seen this whenever you've met them if you have met them in person at all for some of you let me be your private dancer with performer did any did anyone order a show some of you maybe this person used to you know strip or something or they just like giving you a show some of you this person could be in the entertainment industry and slippery when wet up against the shower wall right next to suck on my fingers and guide me to your sweet spot hey god damn and let's make love tonight yeah this person wants you everywhere and they want you to wear some nice role play wear this for me tonight so they could want to buy you lingerie here and there's nothing sexier than a woman with brains so they admire your wisdom which you are very tapped into Okay, with the Justice and the High Priestess. Very, very much so. Yeah, I get so excited viewing your anatomy. Definitely this person was in another connection. Okay, lead me not into temptation. This must have been really hard, stuck between heaven and hell here. We already saw the devil wears Prada. So that karmic could love a lavish lifestyle, but they could be more of a gold digger. Okay. They're used to that kind of person, person. Um, but they're they're changing. Since they met you, they, their life has been changing, and it's probably not going to be easy at first. Because change like that at that deep level is is hard. But when you overcome that, oh my God, you definitely feel light as a feather. And you're in your full confidence and you, you know, you just know how to cut people off. And when you, things come up, you know how to handle them better and better each time. Yeah, it says let's make it official. Okay, I do see a breakup here. And a closing of a cycle. A big chapter in their life, the world. That is overcoming, you know, those cycles, repetitive cycles, um, successfully. Alright, that's major change. So, now that I have you all to myself, sit back and enjoy the show with tonight is a smorgasbord. And how could I not?
be turned on by you. I'm going to drop those on the floor. All right. There was the Mile High Club after that. They could definitely want to travel to see you here or want to travel with you somewhere. see what else what does this person want to say so when it comes to you I feel like this person could be taken back a little bit very nervous because they're not used to going up to people like you so they could have been very confident going for a more superficial connection because it was a low vibration, you know, a, a vibration that they're they're used to because it, you know, it's before the change is taking place. And with you, you're in a very high vibration, so it could be intimidating for this person. Um, but as they go through the change and understand the connection that is underlying here between you and them um, when they fully come into their own power they're gonna understand how to pursue you okay as long as they're you know they don't succumb to their devilish ways right because the devil is here and you know so they're fight they're currently fighting their inner demons is what i'm seeing here yeah when we come together it's for the long haul and this is the kind of person that when they make a move it's 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 said and done like they don't go back on their word, okay? And they don't want to, you know, they don't want to make war. They want to make love. It's almost like they've been going up against this connection because of all the change that they've been feeling, which could be very uncomfortable and triggering. But this isn't war. It's, it's, a, it's love. It's real love. And love will challenge you to change, but not in a not in a demanding way it's just a natural thing that's happening beneath the surface and um, you know they know that you guys are magically intertwined and they, I feel like they don't want to fight it anymore hermit mode they know you are wish fulfillment they know this is destined and they're learning that lesson they want to be in calmer waters here There you go. You open my mind in so on so many levels. So your growth has aligned you to your twin and also allowing them to heal and change. That's how powerful is your growth when it's connected to your twin because it, it helps that person align to you and especially they're already, they've been watching you already they probably didn't even know at first that you were their twin they they probably thought that the person that they were with that they had uh, a, a twin next to them but as you saw the devil with the lovers and eh, that's not the one that was an illusion So that tells me that could have been a karmic soul tie. Same thing you went through. I know you are the one because you run through my mind endlessly. Yeah. There it is. How can I walk away from the most beautiful thing I have encountered in this life? Yeah. Oh, 
That's a lot of cards. Our 5D experiences blow my mind. This connection is undeniable. See, they can't deny what exists here because of the experiences they're having in the dream state and the 5D state and the astral realm. People don't understand when they don't have a twin flame connection what transpires in the dream state and how different it is than dreaming about any just anyone. That's how you know you're connected to somebody. It's amazing the love you feel, the the vibration you 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 get from that person. It's undeniable. It's not something that just shows up with just anybody you're crushing on. It it's it's so unique and different. As you guys already know, I'm looking for a way to bridge this gap between us. Yeah. Because they know you are the one. Yep, they know it's time to show face. There is no telling what I might do when I see you. Yeah, because they, they want to touch you all over. Okay. Yep. I always dreamed and wished for a love like this. I just didn't know I'd be this scared. <laughs> yep. True love is a scary thing, especially when it challenges you and your view on life, your perspective, your your limitations, right? Your limited beliefs, the way you were conditioned to think about love and life. This is that kind of love. There is nothing higher than this vibration right here. If only I knew for sure how you felt. See, they don't know because you're in your power. You're allowing things to kind of play out and you're very focused on your own growth. Okay, and your life purpose is what it looks like you're in. So, you know, they, because they're still growing, they're, they, they don't know if you feel the same or maybe even feel the same thing. Um, so they do, you know, they get in their head. Yeah, it's always been you. Now that they understand the kind of connection I feel that they were in, which they were scratching their head for a while about, is what I'm feeling. They understand it's always been you. No one does it quite like you. I wonder if you can handle my lifestyle. There it is. Okay. So they have a very busy lifestyle. Okay, which which is why growth took so long for this person because they're always busy. So they needed to take the time, which they are now with the hermit here, to really get good with themselves and allow themselves to grow and see things from a higher perspective and a higher perspective each and every time more and more. So, you know, they wonder if you can handle that kind of lifestyle because they have to be in and out, travel in and out. They're always busy. I say it just depends on the level of growth when they come to you and how they view connect relationships at that time. Because if they're going to want an open relationship, maybe that's something you're not into. So it, it just depends. You know, you guys will cross that bridge when you get to it. Yeah, this is friendship mixed with undeniable chemistry. So you will feel the very, obviously, a very strong bond to each other. Um, you will, you know, it's friendship, meaning, you know, you don't feel like it's just a connection where you feel like you're sleeping with your enemy, <laughs> which is probably how they felt with that other person. No, this is like true friendship, um, as well as spiritual connection and undeniable chemistry here. Like it's very playful, charismatic between the two of you. You guys will know that when you guys come together, for those of you where you've just been watching each other online, um, or you just, you know, happen to meet once but they were already taken you know however that transpired for you guys you know what I'm talking about yeah they do worry you might break their heart I see them thinking about that right over here it's extremely difficult to stay disciplined and not want to run to you and I see that right here okay yeah I look through your social media profile and I admit fear can be my worst enemy. Absolutely. 
And yes, you are a mystery I want to solve in every which, in every way, shape, and form. So you are very mysterious. And you know, you 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 um you're very selective, I feel, with your energy. Okay. You don't just let anybody in, which is good. Your love takes me into uncharted waters. Yeah, this is definitely uncharted waters. They never loved like this or felt this 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 kind of um, connection, spiritual connection. Not like this. One of a kind. Yeah, you're definitely a goddess or god in every sense of the word. Your voice turns me on. Okay, so they've heard you talk somehow, some way, or you like their voice. For some of you, if they're in the entertainment industry, they could sing, so their voice could turn you on. And I'm taking time to heal and letting go of things that no longer serve me. So there you go. And I look forward to seeing your face, even if it's just on social media for now. And if 5D is all we have for now, I want to connect more with you. Yeah, they're trying to clear some things out of their life at this time. So they're trying to make room, but also heal as well. And clear what whatever is going on in their life that doesn't serve them or would serve you in any way. Yep, I know we are meant to be. And it says, I don't know what holds me back, especially when I know that I want you. And they no longer see themselves without your beautiful soul and face by their side. If only you knew how much you really mean to me. Yeah. Your love takes me on a high. It makes me feel like flying. And I can't help but fantasize about you. And I have desired a kiss from those lips for far too long. And again, how do you unsee the most beautiful thing that's ever happened to you? Okay. Okay. And because of their lifestyle, yes, they are surrounded by a lot of naysayers. They're saying, trust in me, I'm not easily swayed by naysayers. Okay? They love your style. And thinking about you as often as I do should be a crime. And they can see you are full of surprises. Okay? So maybe, yeah, and it says, I guess God is a witch because we are spellbound by divine love. I know you're a godsend. I couldn't be more grateful. Yeah. Yeah, they could have, you know, have some, think about it, you know, if they're surrounded by so much superficiality, think about the people that surround this people that are not doing the growth, the work, and are in that superficial mindset. They're going to have opinions on the connection between the two of you because definitely they're not going to believe in it because they don't have that type of connection and or doing any type of work to even attract that type of connection or even doing any research that has to do with that type of connection um and you're very different they're gonna have opinions okay they're gonna say all kinds of stuff to keep this person all messed up in their head but like they said they're not easily swayed by naysayers at the end of the day they have their own mind they have to make their own opinion they have to go through their own changes and they have to be open-minded enough to understand that things exist outside of our limitation, limitations, our limited beliefs, our conditioning. You know, just because we haven't experienced it doesn't mean it's not there. Um, you know, what we know is not the end-all be-all. There's always other truths lying in plain sight. It's just a matter of figuring them out and encountering that truth and dissecting it, understanding it, knowing it. Till we see it for what it is. So that's what I see here, guys. Intense. So spirit did have 
other connections, one from your past and a high level soulmate, guys. But I, you know, clearly this was the dominant energy, so that's what I stuck with. So next, maybe you know, last week, if you guys want to know more about the high level soulmate, if you resonate with that high level soulmate, I did one of those last sexy Sunday fun days. Okay, um, so I would look at that, and we'll see what happens next week. I hope um, I shed some light here. And uh, let me know in the comments if you resonate. And I wish you guys the best. All right. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'll see you next week. Thank you for watching Sexy Sunday Fun Day.